Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13, the show. And we have got the very last game that you are going to see with Lou Gehrig, not in a major league uniform. Man, I am excited for this one. And it's going to be really cool because this is my first time playing at an MLB field with Lou Gehrig as we're going to be playing at City Field in the Future Prospects game. So this is going to be, I don't know, kind of uh, nerve-wracking for me because I don't know what to expect right now. I mean, obviously, these are some of the best players in the game. And Lou Gehrig, of course, being selected to play first base here for Team USA. So to start the game off, it's just going to be a little ground ball. So standing on first, no problem. Really no difference right there than what we've seen in AA and AAA. So I guess that kind of calms my nerves a little bit. But here is my first at bat. Why am I wearing number five? Dang it, you know what I just realized? Double A, triple A, and even in the Futures game, I don't even get to wear the number four. I have not been able to see Lou Gehrig wear number four, and honestly, I don't think that I'm going to get the chance to. So I swing at that one, that was a little low and inside, but looks like it would have caught the corner here. So the four seamer is what I really need to look out for here. Watch that change up a little low. So, 1-1 one, one count right now to Lou Gehrig. And man, this is actually a, a very different view, getting a chance to be able to be in an MLB stadium. I mean, sometimes I'll see some uh, water towers or you know, just something in the background, but I don't get to see too many stands like this. But anyway, I foul it off in right field, so my first at-bat, really nothing too exciting. But... It's just cool to be here in the Future Prospects game. So really glad to see that Lou Gehrig made it here. The downside is I was not able to get selected for the uh, AAA uh, All-Star game. So this is really the only thing that I'm going to have. So to let you know what's going to be happening from here on out with Lou Gehrig is I'm going to go ahead and get simulated up to spring training, which uh, Lou Gehrig does get invited to and we're really going to see how that plays out uh, I don't expect to be a starter or anything like that I'll be coming off the bench every once in a while but that's still going to be a uh, I don't know I think it's going to allow us to still be able to see Lou Gehrig grow and to become a better player over time just not being the starter all day every day because Mark Teixeira over at first for the Yankees uh, is a ton better than I am right now so I'm not surprised but I had thought about maybe going ahead and moving Lou Gehrig to another position in case the Yankees thought I'd be better there but I don't know I do kind of want to keep Lou Gehrig at first because it is Lou Gehrig but anyway I'm going to try to see if I can get the number 34 also with Lou Gehrig when I get to spring training but we're going to see what happens with that I may have to like just go through and see what kind of numbers I can come up with that might somewhat resemble Lou Gehrig. That's going to be a hit that goes into center field. I was hoping that it would be something cool right here defensively. It looks like that we're not going to see that. So, yes, as long as I don't get traded or anything, which I don't think I'm even going to let happen, um, you'll be seeing Lou Gehrig in a Yankee uniform next. Granted, it'll be the spring training one, but ah, that's so cool to actually think about that finally I've been able to make it to this point in the game where I could finally be on an MLB team. And I think I'm going to do the same with Kevin Millar as well, just to get him up to the MLB. All right, so after a huge series of fielding opportunities, Lou Gehrig comes up to the plate once again. And I think I'm going to be facing the same pitcher that I was before. So if that's the case, nope, it's going to be somebody different. So I don't really know what to expect. All right, so, oh, there we go. That one is going to go over the wall into the second deck right here in City Field. Man, what a great, great home run to be able to have. Really making a statement right there with Lou Gehrig. There's a lot of differences too. The crowd's a lot more into it, a lot more volume out of them. Man, I am excited for what is to come with Lou Gehrig. I think this was the right decision to go ahead and simulate forward to get to the MLB. Because if this is what it's like at City Field, I can't imagine what it's going to be like at Yankee Stadium. A lot of history, a lot of great fans. It's going to be super sweet. So anyway, now that I've been able to contribute for Team USA, 
I'm going to get another opportunity here at the plate. So back-to-back -back appearances, I guess, for highlights here. They probably just went ahead and did all my fielding opportunities between at-bat one and two, and then here I go between two and three. So still yet a new pitcher. This makes it so difficult because you think you get one pitcher down, and then you got something else. So I was swung way too early that changeup. Way too early. All right, got to make sure I watch out for it here. That one too far outside. The slider goes for ball one. So I've got a home run now. So I don't care how this ends up, honestly. I just think it's cool that I was able to get a home run right here. We're down, though, 5-2. to two, So Team USA not doing too hot. Shouldn't have swung at that changeup way too low. Got to be better with that. I don't know what it is, but changeup... It's low. I always, always have a hard time with it. Well, I guess mine is that one. But I really got to learn how to watch out for that change up here. Every single time it gets me. Just like right there. So that one ends up being in the dirt. Of course, I'm not going to make it over the first in time. So not the best at bat for me, but I go ahead and get subbed out in the seventh inning, which is what is to be expected here in a game like this where you just want to feature as many players as possible. So a great game for Lou Gehrig. I'm kind of sad that we're going to be leaving AAA, but at the same time, I think the future and everything that it holds here for Lou Gehrig is going to be really, really exciting. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just make sure you check the description below. And do not forget the charity live stream that Tezza Dude and I are going to be doing on June 1st into the 2nd. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to give you a chance to be able to help out um, those who are less fortunate by benefiting water.org. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, I hope you have a good one.